Hello everyone and welcome to Devlog part number 5. In this episode we're gonna be working on making our towers attack the enemy. We also will be giving enemies HP so they can actually be defeated. We're also gonna finally give the enemies animations so they don't look so static and blocky. I am super, super excited for this episode. But before we get to the coding, let's take a look at all the little changes that I made off camera. So the first thing that I did that you've probably already seen in the intro is that I changed the atmosphere up a little bit. The ocean now goes on forever. The sky is clear and blue and even the sun became a square to light up the area. I also added a ton more enemies that can spawn and walk around the place. Of course they still don't have an animation but that's what we will be doing today. I am super happy to have all the enemies already included on the map. And last but not least, I gave the enemies a death animation. Every time they die at the end, they actually play a little death animation. For one, removing the models reduces lag and it also looks a lot better when they will be destroyed along the road, which obviously we will do in this episode. But before we do anything else, let's actually make the enemies look a lot better by giving them animations and making them more or less alive. Let's go. So as you can see, I actually organized my replicated storage now so that we actually know where we have to be. And inside enemy models, we got all the enemies that we have running around in the game. If we go for example to the snail or the scuba ant, we can see that there is no animation inside. That's not what we really wanted to. So for example, let's do pit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, we're gonna insert object, animation, boom, there we go. And this will be the running animation. Also this animation controller should be gone. Uh, the rest don't have that, I just forgot to remove that. But place down an animation, you can name it animation, you can name it something else. I'm just gonna keep naming it animation. And where it says animation ID, paste your animation. I'm gonna do that for all the enemies real quick. Okay, time to test it out. I don't see an error. But I don't see them actually animating. And we get uh, an infinite yield. So he can't find an animation. Why can he not find an animation? Um, wait, give me a second. Okay, here we go. I don't see an error. And the animations are working. So we got Pit over here. We got the end moving around. We got, where are all the other enemies? Are they actually all spawning over there? Okay, so here we have the end. He is animating like his legs are moving. We got the crabs moving about. We got this pirate guy. He is a moving. This guy is a moving, moving, moving about. Okay, so now actually let's work on attacking of a tower but before we can do that we should give the enemies actually some hp shall we so first of all in our enemy brick we're gonna put an int value this will keep track of our health okay very very nice and when we spawn an enemy we want to make sure that the health is actually the exact same as the one that we preview in the data. So for now, let's give every enemy a health value. So let's give every enemy some health, shall we? Okay, so we got our enemy here. So let's use some GY. I would recommend Billboard GY to actually give the enemy uh, a health bar. It's going to be really, really simple. And if we test that out, we will see, spawning in the world, that indeed the ant has 20 HP, this cube 70 HP, ant 20 HP, pit 50 HP, 
this crap 20 HP. And uh, all the way over there, let's go all the way over there. Da -da 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 -da. To the pirate. The pirate has 70 HP. 20 HP, 20 HP, 100 HP, 20 HP. So everything has HP now. So now let's make the tower actually attack the enemies. Very excited. Now, if we place our tower over here and we wait for the pit, 50 HP, 45 HP. This one, boom, 15 HP. So we can see that they are actually, actually getting damage. So this one, boom, he took damage. Let's go. This one, and uh, boom, he took damage. So of course he is still very, very weak right now. So we probably have to place a bunch down to actually do some damage. And we can see that we still actually move down into the negatives, which isn't a good sign. But look at this. Yeah, they're actually taking damage. Let's go. Look how much damage they do when they're with a, with a lot of them. But obviously, the towers need to be able to die when, uh, when their HP hits zero or below. So... Like, we can't have an enemy walking around with minus 60, right? We really cannot have that. So let's code that into the game really, really quick. It should be really, really simple. Okay, so let's spawn a whole bunch of towers. There we go. Let's see if we can kill this pit. Oh, no, we didn't kill him. Okay, more towers, more towers. We need to kill him. Come on. Come on, pit, die. Oh, 1 HP, god damn it. Okay, place more towers, more towers, more towers, more towers. Okay, let's see, can we kill the end? Yes, did you see that he died? And pit, poof, he dies. And uh, well, they have cooldown, obviously, because they cannot spam because they're just level one. But oh boy, it works. Let's place a whole bunch. So another tower here. Now we got a bunch of towers lined up. So let's see. Let's see this crap. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, Pit is gonna take the front. He died. He died. The ants died. Pit died. Oh, are we gonna kill this pirate though? He's taking damage. He's taking damage. Is he gonna survive? I think the pirate might survive. Maybe, maybe. No, the pirate died. Let's go. Nothing is gonna get past us now. We have the ultimate setup. Boom, boom. He died. Of course, right now, it looks a little, little bit lame. So, maybe I should give the, uh, the tower some attacks. But first, aren't in these tower defenses, the tower supposed to look at their target? <laughs> yes, they are. So, let's actually fix that really, really quickly. So, let us run that and see if the towers actually face... The enemies now so we're gonna make it turn to the back and he actually does change and looks at his target he actually looks at his target boom and boom he actually looked at the pirate that time so he actually is a little bit glitchy oh wait oh boy he's totally not looking the right way actually let's fix that wait a minute wait a minute Okay, so I did actually fix it and he actually looks at the enemies now. Uh, there wasn't actually a problem with my code. It was just that <laughs> the model wasn't anchored correctly. So that is totally, totally my bad. But at least it works now. It works perfectly and he actually looks at the enemy uh, that he is damaging so that was totally my bad and I apologize for that uh, So the last thing that I want to do is to give him an attack animation Not really an animation, but let him spit out a fireball. So let's actually make that real real quick So let's run the code and see if that w w w w works so we're gonna spawn a tower over here. Let's see if that works. Are you going to attack? And yeah! Did you see that? And boom! And boom! And boom! Let's actually go!
I am so, so enjoying this. Okay, okay, okay. So the only thing that I have to do now is make it look a little, little, a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna clean that up and let's see how it will look at the very, very end. So this is what I came up with. Little, little fireballs spit from the s'mores. Obviously, you can give the towers an animation the exact same way that we gave the enemies animations. But, oh my god, would you look at this. It looks so, so cool. It's a bit of a shame that we cannot kill a single enemy because right now all the high HP enemies are spawning, but... I mean, maybe we can kill one of these crabs coming up. That would be pretty cool. Let's see if we can. I don't think we can. We're still attacking things pretty far away. But, oh boy. Oh, we killed an ant. So, yeah. It actually works pretty well. I absolutely love how the fire looks. It looks like a really cool effect. I'm probably going to play a little bit more of, of camera. But so far, this looks absolutely amazing. And it looks like such an actual tower defense right now i am so happy honestly honestly i am not going to lie but i am so happy with how this game is turning out it gives me a lot of motivation to work on it and seeing it upgrade every single devlog makes it so so worth it what a cool cool game now before i go I want to correct something that I didn't mention in the last episode and I want to point out that like half of the enemy models are made by my good friend Newt. So Newt made the pirate, he made Pit and he also made the scuba ant. So big shout out to him. Uh, I totally forgot to mention that last time but here we go. Anyway, next time we are finally going to work on tower upgrades. And I mean at that point the game is almost finished with the basics. We just need to do a bit of cleanup and then we can probably work on making it like workable for mobile like we're going so fast and i am so happy this has been such a big achievement for our dev development log like the fact that you can actually kill enemies now is so cool hello this is bowie from the future from editing uh so i completely forgot that we also have to do a, a wave system so the next devlog is actually gonna be a wave system and the devlog after that is gonna be tower upgrades so i am very sorry if you got confused but next video is gonna be the wave system and the video after that is going to be tower upgrades sorry for the confusion but yeah, like I said, I am completely, completely loving this. Oh, oh boy. But unfortunately, that is all the time that I had for today. If you got any suggestions, leave them in the Discord or in the comments below. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.